Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine to fives. But we are still married to the games one, two, seven. I think that's right. You got it. I didn't it. even think about it. Nope. You got it. We are kid tested and grandmother approved. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router and Timothy Hall, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so what cereal are we then? We are the MTTG cereal. Oh, I thought we were like, oops, all berries or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all berries. Oops, all berries. What is that? It's it's exactly what it sounds like. Like, oh, shoot, we didn't put anything else in here but berries. Yeah, crunch Oops. berries. Uh, wow. Crunch berries, okay. Uh, I, I consider crazy. us more of like the brand fibrous type of cereal. That it's, yeah. Uh, it's we, good. Make you, we make you go. And we make you... <laughs> we- we make you the regular. nasty stuff that you eat, and you're like, well, at least it's good for me. There yeah, you go. At least, Bingo. at least it'll come out soon and bring some stuff with it. <laughs> uh, colon blow. Uh. <laughs> was that from Saturday yes, Night Live man. this week? That oh, my god! Awesome. I forgot all about colon blow. That was such a that great skit. That is really, really funny. Uh. I cannot believe <laughs> We're less than a minute into the podcast. And we got Colin poop jokes going said, on. Oops, yeah. I crap right. my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, wearing gonna... them, and I just did. Uh, uh, it's going to be that kind of podcast today, boys. That is really, really funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you router say, since yeah, you're the first okay, one to say yeah. colon on our show <laughs> you go first i might as well start first <laughs> how was your week uh, that it, their brethren <laughs> it was good um yes i did watch the saturday night live special which i thought was good there was a couple of weird parts to it but uh you yeah. know that's kind of a eddie murphy i thought was weird yeah you would think um you think I thought we, he would do something. Yeah, I thought we'd do a lot more, especially because he's he really kind of put it all on the map mm-hmm. um, with some of his skits. I um, I didn't really like the Californians very much. I found found it kind of awkward. You know, it's funny. I never liked that skit. Yeah. I don't know why they keep doing it, and to why do it on the 40th anniversary? I have no mm-hmm. idea. Right. I mean, there's so many other things they could have done. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it's pretty amazing that that has been around for 40 years, and uh, it was just a a celebrity mosh posh of so many different people. And I think Did you it feel was, like you were in good company. Yes. Yes. You were like, Hey, Saturday night live and me and yeah, been around for say, 40 years. <laughs> it seems like everything's turning 40 lately. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I loved that. Um, that the Wayne's world skit, they, they gave big props to the crew because I think that's, that's really important too. Cause I mean, a lot of those guys have been there from day one. That they? was awesome. So I was, yeah, I was like, that's really cool. Um, mm. Yeah, so watch that. Uh, we are covered in what two and a half inches of ice right now here in Nashville, so yep. no one's going anywhere. Milk and bread is gone at the store, and mm-hmm. uh, there's general mass hysteria. <laughs> it's pre- it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we've had Our uh, pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> that's right. Cats and dogs living together. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've just kind of been hunkered down. Um, Lauren has closed the shop for the past two days. Uh, she's, oh, she did close it. Keep keep it closed yesterday. Oh, there, huh? Yeah, there is. There's no point in even bothering because um, it it who's going to be walking around up and down Franklin in 22 degree icy weather, and mm-hmm. even more so later on. Like tonight, it's supposed to get down to minus two or something like that. Nice. So we got we got some cold coming in. Um, so yeah, just, we've just been hunkered down. I've been working. Um, and uh. I'm trying to think if there's anything other, anything else crazy on the gaming front. I platinum that Far Cry Four, baby. I'm so yes, excited, sir. my boy Gabe. I I made a little tech shout out. Like, um, it's a snow day. Anybody up for a little Far Cry co op? <laughs> and Gabe's like, exactly. Oh yeah. So it was perfect. So we uh, we jumped on. It took two seconds, but like on Sunday, I think I went and did all the remaining stuff I had to do. I I still had to kill like 30 people with an elephant and uh with mortars and i had to do something else but i went in and got and did the battles of karat stuff and uh, it was fun man it, i mean that game I, I i had to platinum there's no way it was calling my name and then gabe when you did it i'm like well shoot i gotta get on this too because i was i was 85 percent of the way done i'm like i cannot not do this and because hmm. I, I am uh 
I hate to say this, but I am pretty much done with Halo. <laughs> I have, I have. Uh, picked one. Which one did you get to? Which one? Hey, you said you you're played, done with Halo. Yeah, I'm you done. played the first one. I played the first one, and I'm oh, done with okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I am. Uh, <laughs> I thought you and, said you were done with the whole game. I was like, man, there's no, a no. lot more there. No, I know. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I am done with the whole game. Like, I, <laughs> I, I just kind of don't want to play it. Oh, like, I, I think geez. Halo One ruined it for me, and maybe I need to move on to something else. But here's the thing: I'm, I'm a new generation gamer. I've only been doing like hard, serious console gaming since 2011, right? So I know mm-hmm. that Halo has a huge nostalgia for a lot of people. Lighty, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> and um, he's coming after you. He, oh, he <laughs> is. He's gonna he's gonna drive down and like smack <laughs> smack me. But, smack some sense into you. But it's the reason why I think Halo was so popular was because of what, how innovative it was at the time. Because there weren't any other video games like that. Mm. And now that there are, and now you, and now that <laughs> and now that you go back to it, it's like. Uh, I, can't, oh, shoot. I can't keep going with this so yeah I, do? I don't know i like i basically just put it down i'm like oh far cry 4 let me try and platinum that and then uh friday's coming <laughs> along i'm like oh the order 1886 let me try and go with that <laughs> so i think it's i think master chief's just gonna go in hibernation for a little while um but hall i know you've played them all do you have any suggestions should i you know if i'm if my attitude is this way should i try to continue or should i go to a different should i go to two should i go to four should i do you know what should i do if you didn't like one you may not i don't, I don't know if two is going to sway you at all but three was really fun okay so and i think i mean four i didn't get all the way through four and take that for you know what it is but i i don't i don't think four was as good as three in my opinion the multiplayer is kind of the um has b- always kind of been the highlight of the Halo series. So right. you know, Halo Halo 1 only had LAN play, and then from 2 on, it was online play. And I think 2 really, in my opinion, had the best uh, multiplayer. So mm, Okay. well, uh, It's that... worth checking out. Even though you don't play multiplayer typically, right. it's worth checking out. Okay. All right. Especially well, like a game of like all swords. I mean, it's pretty oh amazing. Oh, God. That would be pretty cool. Because mm-hmm. that's like a one-hit kill and you're done exactly and you you it, you have to be very strategic about how you approach people that that's halo's kind of always been a more calculated first person shooter whereas call of duty is just you know it's it's very fast paced and really too fast for some people but halo mm-hmm. is is i've always enjoyed halo more because you get to think about how you approach an enemy a little bit more so my frustration with halo is a lot of it is just based on you know you get killed you have to go back to where you were um but some of it like there was one dude with the sword that like i would back up back up and keep firing and keep firing and he just come at you come at you and shling that was it you're done and that happened like 12 times and i almost rage quit at that point and mm. you know it's just one of those things where it was it was just frustrating and it's it's just because i'm a new generation gamer so uh, I, what I would really rather do is play Mass Effect than Halo at this point. Like I'd rather power up. Mm. I would more so power up the PS3 right now and play Mass Effect 2 and 3 again than play Halo at this point. And I know that is sacrilege for so many people, but hey, that's just how I feel. Well, um, they're, they're very different games, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's just one of those things where, um, uh, yeah, I'm just it's just not my thing. Mm-hmm. so i think the xbox one's gonna sit for a little while <laughs> i can't um, be mad at that right so i mean it's just it is what it is uh but i am definitely looking forward to the order which is coming out on friday i've i've had that pre-order for like seven months now <laughs> and uh <laughs> so i'm dying to get it and get in there and uh and kind of just get right into it i'm not watching anything else from here on out i've, I've watched a few trailers but i, I don't want to know reviews i don't want to know anything so i'm trying to you know, keep my blinders moving forward because I want to make my own decisions about that. So, nice. so be good. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, went did a little sledding yesterday on the ice with Piper. Ah, and, and there that you was, go. That was fun. And um, yeah, we're just kind of hunkered down here, and, and I'm working, and we're all freezing. So it's great. Any close calls? You almost bust your head at any point. Uh, almost ran into the pole. The, <laughs> but nice. it's it, like it was such a little. M- m- mini hill like it literally was a, a little slope 
And that was mm. it. And that was probably good for Piper. She was laughing and had a ball. But I got like one of the last sleds down the street in, uh, at the hardware store. He sold like 500 sleds over the weekend. And Whoa. it's just, oh it really is just like a strip of plastic. And you have zero directional skills like you really like you might even, as well just use a trash bag exactly <laughs> just just yeah exactly just grab something grab whatever you want and just go down because yeah. there are no steering you can't even steer like i'm trying to like point my toes like a luge <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but you, you have wherever it takes you is wherever it takes you especially on ice if it was powdered by being something else but ice is just and it's just all the way down so forget it hmm. you know so yeah i almost hit a pole but but it was I was going two miles an hour, so it wasn't bad. Hmm. But that's it for wow. me. Nice. Halsifer. Sledding yesterday, we used a uh, the top of a, um, the, what are those, the storage bin containers. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there you go. I wasn't going to try to go out and get a sled or try to go out <laughs> and find a hill. <laughs> but uh, we kind of have a slope behind our house, so uh, we just did a little bit of sledding out there, and that was a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, I love before. sledding, man. Oh, I know. It's so much fun. It, it's nothing compared to the north where you oh, yeah. you get snow all the time, so you can kind of plan out where you want to go and all that stuff. But uh Right. You know, it when we get it down here, I, I'm sure that well, actually I would say that I'm sure that a majority of the hills are like just covered in kids, but kids don't play outside anymore. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> our, uh, our cul-de-sac actually was full of kids i was surprised i was like what? yes here we go yeah Dude, i'm talking like i looked outside at one point yesterday there's probably 12 kids outside uh all sledding down the, i love that sledding man. down the hill i was yeah. like yeah man that's right and then i went out there and talked to one of them I'm like so you playing destiny now he was like yeah <laughs> i was like call me next time we're playing <laughs> I'm going back inside. It's cold out here. Uh, by the way, my mom told me not to talk to uh, grown men. <laughs> my mom exactly. told me not to talk to you. <laughs> oh, um, and uh, Hall, you start your new job this week, right? Well, he here's the thing. Yeah, what's and, going on? And by down? the way, I don't I don't know that I have a lot of kids in my neighborhood, so I must be biased on the on the kid thing. Oh, but that's okay. um, so Monday, I was supposed to to go into the office for just kind of some rudimentary you know, greetings and just all kinds of stuff like that on Monday. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I got an email on Sunday night and, uh, the president said, yeah, we're, we're not, we're doing not this. opening up. Yeah. yeah it's not going <laughs> to happen. Um, got an email Monday night. Well, actually on Sunday night, the email said, you know, Tim, we'll see you on Tuesday. We're really excited to, to bring you in mm -hmm. and, uh, got an email. So were they on, off because of the snow or because of president's day? Uh, the snow. Gotcha. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ba banks and the post office close for President's Day. I'm not sure. I mean, there are some businesses that close. I think sure. One of the companies I used to work for, I think they closed for President's Day, but I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. So I got an email Monday night that said, you know, we're not going to do Tuesday either. So uh, I know that's right. You know, if you want to come in, come in, but you don't. You'll be the to. only one here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not going to be anybody there. There's a key under the mat. Yeah. The president literally said, you can come in on Tuesday, but I'm not. So. <laughs> right. Uh, Wednesday. Um, or I got an email last night and they said, you know, we'll, we'll see what we want to do Wednesday. Just come in a little later, you know, see if you can make it in. The roads around here are pretty, are fine. Um, mm hmm the highway is fine. So I think we should be good. I I've been using the, the, uh, T dot traffic cams. Yeah. Mm. And the funny thing is, is the roads are not too bad, but there is absolutely nobody on them. Yeah. And that's smart for Tennessee, yeah. for Tennessee drivers. It's totally smart. Stay in, but yeah. it's, it's interesting. Like a lot of like my area, I don't think they plow down, down my, uh, my whole development because it's just two inches of, straight up ice, ice. yeah once you get to the main roads though the only thing i was worried about last night because I, I had to go to the store for a few other things and that kind of stuff was uh because they were wet during the day and at night because especially tonight because it's going to drop so much black ice man is yes. going to be everywhere so i ain't going mm. anywhere at night but during the day right. it was pretty it was pretty fine yeah and we had a little bit of sun yesterday even though the temperatures didn't come up uh we had some melting on our back porch and stuff so it might be okay to travel today. And I can imagine that most companies are going to go back to work today. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, I mean, just from looking at the streets, like they look, they've been out there plowing. I've heard the plow trucks going by, so they've been out there doing something. So it should be fine now. Mm hmm. Uh, other than that, before the weekend, uh, we, uh, went and organized the garage. And when I say we, I mean mostly Krista because I'm not that great at organizing things. <laughs> you, you, so, come on, I thought you were good at Tetris. Sorry, uh, man. I'm, I'm decent at Tetris, but I have this I have this strange unorganized organization type thing where basically uh, everything is sitting out on my desk so I can right. get to it at any time I need to. <laughs> Contr- <laughs> controlled chaos. Pretty nice. much. And, I, you know, it was funny. One of the places I used to work, um, like me and the boss hit it off so well because we both kind of subscribe to that unorganized organization thing. Everything was just everywhere at all times. So I I don't know where the heck that comes from, but it works for me. Um, There you go. It doesn't work so well when you're trying to clean out and organize your garage though. And I'm glad we did it when the weather was decent. Yes. You probably just needed that music going. Dance, 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 dance. You'd be like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Hold oh, on a I second. got that. Uh, my bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is what you want me to do this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Hall, for a quick review. So, your stipulations of you of them purchasing your business is that you are still working for them. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm going to come in and work for them. I, it but, was it was an option on the table. Nice. Uh, and is it like more of a part time thing, or when you ever you want to, or it's it's full-time flexible. Okay. So it's kind of just, uh, I mean, I can, I can work from home when I need to, I, I've been actually Monday and Tuesday, both. Um, I got some work done from home. They just sent me a few things like, here's some, some things we're going to be doing. And we're going to, we were going to do a, um, full on, like coming in there and getting the orientation and all that stuff. We were going to do a conference call on Monday. They were like, we're just going to throw you in. You've, yeah, you've been doing well. this stuff. So we'll, you know, we got a new client and here's the stipulations. Here's the proposal. Right. You know, we're just going to throw you in. And are you, are you tied into their, their like human resources system? Like you have whatever vacation you want or is it? Yeah. It's, it, we're, we're, we're like I said, we're doing kind of a full-time flexible, but it's salary. Nice. So I get Love the, it. I get the vacation days and all that. Nice. That mm-hmm. Fun but stuff. Can, but can you take additional vacation days? Or are you kind of limited to whatever they give you? Mm, I can take, I mean, they, they, the vacation package is extremely generous. Nice. So I'm not worried about using more than the days that they're giving me. The only I mean, reason I'm asking, lot, so. the only reason I'm asking is just in case we end up going to E3, if you're going to be able to be oh, there. Oh yeah, that's, not. that's perfectly fine. That's not going to be a problem at all. Awesome. And if, if I, if I needed to take work with me, that's also not a problem. So no, I'll be doing that. Boom. Don't worry. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> it really, it, it's funny. Cause like nothing has changed. It's, it's basically awesome. the same thing i was doing just you just have to leave the house yeah i just have to leave the house and you gotta even, put on pants yeah and even then well <laughs> put on pants <laughs> yes <laughs> i don't have to put on pants to do the podcast though so that's true hey oh <laughs> nice because i'm free <laughs> <laughs> uh mr patillo sir y- yeah uh let's yes. segue, let's segue to that hit us up Uh, um, In 1867, on February 18th, there was a little school founded in Augusta, Georgia, which later became known as Morehouse College, Mm. uh, one of the more prestigious black colleges in the nation. 1867, which has had some alums like Samuel L. Jackson in 1972, Martin Luther King Jr. in 1948, and Shelton Lee, which would be He'd be better known as Spike Lee in 1979. Nice. Yeah. And in, um, on February 19th, which is the day this podcast is coming out, soul singer William Smokey Robinson was mm. born. Happy Black History Month. Yeah, mm-hmm. buddy. So one sad thing about this month, I found out this last week while in a right with somebody is I don't really know how to say it correctly. Obviously, everybody says February. But there's an R in there, and Toby taught me, because he was, like, really good at English, that you're actually supposed to slightly say that R, and I can't say it without my lips getting in the way, and it comes out sounding really crazy. (laughs) And me and my 
co-writers had a good laugh the other day. They're like, so how do you say it? I'm like, February. <laughs> <laughs> so February. I don't know. I don't know February. how to say it right. Baby's first words. That's right. <laughs> exactly. February. 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 Nice. February. <laughs> yes, I believe technically the R is in there, but just for slang sake, the R is silent. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. It's like library. Library. Well, actually, it's, no, it's not at all. No, like I, was like, I was about to say, I was like, I thought it was library. Not even close to the library, but the library. Library. <laughs> library. There's another word it's like, but I can't remember. You can't think of it right now. It's 5 30 in the morning. Silent Q or something. That yeah, was awesome. All good. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Continue. Um, this week, uh, the biggest news for me is that I got that old new 3DS. Yeah, buddy. From the old GameStop. And uh, mm. I'm actually loving it. I thought that I, I went to Target a couple times and would play Smash Brothers at the kiosk. And I just found that that's not the game for me on that kind of device. Like my hands are just too big to. And I actually had the same problem with the Vita. I had to buy the extender on the Vita just because um, mm. my hands are so big. Um, but uh, I got Bravely Default which is a JRPG yes. and I'm loving it. Good, man. It's perfect. And uh, it's nice to just lay around and play something. And uh, it's been great. That little, um, they have the eye tracking 3d thing, the super stable, I think is what they call it. 3d. So, you know how on the other 3ds, I don't know if you guys know, but on the other 3ds, you could turn the 3d on and off, obviously. And you had to kind of position yourself just right to like, look down on it and yep. it work. Right. Yep. This doesn't have that. Mm. And so you can mm. kind of, move it i mean there's still like an area that you have to keep it in but like you can kind of move it around and it tracks and kind of stays with you so if you kind of like slouch down or something you'll see it kind of adjust in the 3d the depth will stay there and you're like that's oh, cool man yeah so hmm. that worked and so um that was really cool um router uh oh i'm sorry buddy no, dude, don't uh, don't. Eat, I know where you're going with this, and don't even be sorry about it. I gave it another huge swing last night. I think I'm done with Evolve. No problem. Mm. Yeah, that only took a week, <laughs> <laughs> and that yeah, is mean, not that is not uh, the reason I'm saying sorry to Router is because Router bought me the pre order for Christmas, and uh, it was a game I really wanted, and I played. Probably after last night, I've probably played 75 matches in all. And uh, You're I done. don't think it's getting any deeper than that. There you go. Hmm. You're done. So, I, yeah. thought, I mean, it, I thought it was pretty cool um, when we were. Doing, yeah, I'll let you play it on share play. Yeah, share play. It was it was kind of fun, but I can see like just after I only did what two things and got killed instantly. And I was like, well, because I didn't go through the whole tutorial thing, but I was like, mm -hmm. I can see. I think it would be. You know, my vision of it was like we'd have this awesome MTTG community that would be all in, but I could see it kind of getting a little older. Like I'd probably rather go play Destiny with everybody than play this. Yeah, game. you know well, what I mean. And here's my here's let me do the compliment sandwich. Looks great. Yeah, it does. Uh, it is a cool idea. Um, I have never played anything like this before. Uh, <laughs> you're a hard worker. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you don't have a silent R. <laughs> There's no silent R. <laughs> yeah. However, um, the rounds can be extremely short, and so let's say you're the monster. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing, but the rounds could be as short as like two and a half minutes, right? Oh wow. Okay. But to get into a game, it takes about five minutes. Mm. And so loading. when you yell yeah, loading, finding players, sometimes when you get into a good uh, run with the same guys, it can get down to two ish minutes, but it can it's still a long period of time in between games. So like from mm. ending of one to where they show you all the upgrades that you got to waiting for the next round to start up to voting on a map to having that map load to the opening animation. That's the same for every game. like it can be around two and a half to three minutes. And so when you're flying through and you got a good team and you guys are killing the monster fast uh, or vice versa, the monster killing you fast, you spend all your time loading. Huh. 
mm. all of it. And so you're like, oh my gosh. And I, and I even said it to some strangers. I was like, they've got to patch this and get these loading times down. Cause it, it takes so long in between games that you feel like that's all you're doing. Um, <clears throat> where I feel like, you know, you were on that ship screen on destiny. Oh, uh, boom. you know, that could be uh, 20, 30 seconds. And then, but you're the majority in. of the time you're playing and you're doing stuff at the tower and, uh, and, and stuff like that. And so, um, and even though destiny has the, I don't want to call it the downfall, but like the downside of the fire teams being so small on the campaign, uh, only being three, this is five. You only get to talk to four people at a time. Um, but man, the depth just isn't there. Yeah. Like, like, and, and, and we talked about this <clears throat> after I played the demo and me and some of the community were talking about like, so if this is all it is, then that's going to wear thin pretty quickly. Yeah. And it just, it just kind of has. And, uh, I hate that because I was so looking forward to this game and I, and I don't know if it was the hype train that I put it on or I didn't feel like it had the hype of like, you know, destiny, obviously, but it still has some hype behind it. By the way, the commercials, I don't know if you've anybody seen the commercials, but I've always said that if I was on stranded on a desert Island, the one album I'd want to take is the Fugees. And, um, yes. they have ready or not. Here I come as the, like the, except I like saw a that kid's one. choral version. Yeah. It's really dope. That was really cool. Yeah. yeah that was I really love cool. That. So that made me uh, go, huh, maybe I should reconsider <laughs> getting this game. And exactly. then I played some of them like, no, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. Good marketing. Um, so last night I sat back down for an hour and I was like, all right, one more time. Let's just make sure that I'm not taking this back to Best Buy tomorrow. And so, um, sat down, gave it another go college swing, played it. And you're just like, you're just bored. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, I unlocked all, I, I like playing trapper. I unlocked all three trappers and I think there's three characters for every uh, position, um, three monsters, which I think they'll obviously expand in a DLC oh, sure. probably. Um, but I feel like the Wraith, who's the third monster that you get is completely, I mean, out of balance. Like he's so strong and so fast. And maybe if you're playing with a bunch of good people, I mean, we killed the Wraith plenty of times, but I'm just saying, uh, he just seems really, really out of balance, but, uh, mm. just a bullet sponge. But anyway, that's my, Oh, uh, compliment sandwich. And, um, and you're a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, listen, uh, do not, do not feel obligated to keep any type of game. And I, I tweeted this last night cause somebody responded, Oh, what's router going to think? And my whole thing is this, man, I, I give these, like, I like giving games away because even if you don't like it, you can trade it in and get something else. So I'm expecting yeah. you to trade this bad bear in and come with me on Friday and go get yourself some order 1886. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <Nice. laughs> and so it was, it was one of those things where I've like, I've ne I don't think I've ever take, like, I don't ever take gifts back. Like, even if I don't like the gift, like when you get something right. from your grandparents or something, they're right, right. out of touch with who you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like even those I've never taken back. Right. And so, um, that's what garage I'm sales are for. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, what's also cool for, um, and I'm going to plug Best Buy again, but what's cool yep. about their gamers unlocked is now that I, I can go and see their trade in value online, go trade it, get 10% more. And after the 10% more, it'll pretty much make, a six make it what a sixty dollar game is worth at Best Buy, so I can just swap it out for the order or uh, anything else. And you know, if you wanted to, you could probably well shoot. Can you swap it and pre order the order right now so you could get that? Yeah, discount? probably. Yeah, you could. boom, boom, do that, man. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Save yourself two trips. Just go on Friday and get it. There you go. Yeah, it's not going to be sold out. No, 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 no. I don't think games are. Do games get sold out anymore? I have no clue. I doubt it. I, I think if you. It depends on the game, and if you were to wait until probably, I don't know, Tuesday night, like they'll be like, "Oh, we're not putting out anymore till tomorrow or something." Oh uh, yeah, know. maybe. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, all I mean, right. I don't know. Yeah, so works. don't don't even sweat that because Hall. What did you give me? Did you give me Hitman? Was it Hit? No, you gave me GTA Four, and I yeah, traded the complete. It, the complete, yeah, the complete thing, and I traded that in and got Mass Effect, and I will always remember Mass Effect equals. Hey, Hall gave me that. So like that's that's did, how that's when you my traded perspective it in, did on you, it. Did you trade it in as like a uh, I this was a gift and I don't have the receipt, or did you trade it in as give me five dollars? 
Uh, I think I got 10 for it, actually. No. Uh, yeah. Because I was going to say, if it was still sealed, you know, I probably See, that's bought I, it at Best Buy. So you could yeah. have said, oh, I just, I don't have you the know, receipt I can't, gift. I cannot remember. Did you, did you not play it? Oh, I didn't touch it. Nope. Yeah, I, he, uh, he didn't sealed. open it, so. Oh, yeah, gotcha. it was, it, that, That's what I've done, like, in the past. Like, if I have a, a game that sits on the shelf too long, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I bought this, and it's not been 90 days, so I don't know yeah. where the receipt is. There you go. No, but I think this was way beyond 90 days at this point. Hmm. Is he, but anyway, the, that, the point is totally fine, because that makes you trade in and get something else that's the beauty yeah, of it you get something else get something that you want so yep, it's all good exactly yep it's all good man i forgot to good. mention in my update too i played a crap load of diablo 3 this weekend nice you guys, yeah. oh, good you, you guys need to get that game okay do you think i would like do you think router would like it router would like it just because of the collection the items looting aspect. Yes. yeah the looting uh oh, okay. Gabe, maybe i'd say rent it it's at red box i played the demo uh shoot forever ago and i liked it they well they've added a lot of new stuff so even since like the last time i played it which was probably three months ago mm -hmm. like they've added a whole bunch of stuff since then even so it's i always feel like i get neat. so behind on those because that's an mmo right no it's it's kind of a action action rpg maybe Oh, is it single? Like just by yourself? I you can it was do with it other single folks. player, or you can do multiplayer. You can bring oh. people into your game. And the cool it's top thing is, down, isn't it? It's a top yeah. down RPG, it's, isn't it? It's isometric. No, it's, right. The right. cool thing is, is like you can find items throughout the map, and it'll automatically send them to your friends. So, like, oh, cool. you'll find like rare items, and it'll send it to your friends. So, when I logged in, like I said, I haven't logged in in three months. I went to my mailbox, and I had tons of stuff from the community. Oh, so that's like, cool. I had all legendary items like right away. It was awesome. They were like, go get it. Go get it. Yeah, the cool awesome. thing about the loot in that game is that they have the tiers, kind of like Borderlands does, which Borderlands oh, was nice. Was influenced by Diablo, like Diablo 2, I think. Yeah, Gabe, you'll get really into the tree system in a, in a little bit when you play that game. It's pretty cool. Sweet. I like it. Well... That's it for the weekend update. I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The weekend update has been time. kicked on the ground. <laughs> kick, kick. <laughs> well, that's nice because, you know, we have a l some news. Exactly. We have some news. We have some news. We do have some news. Router, you got it? Got it. Well, let's do it. Nice. I like that vibrato in there, brother. You know what I'm saying? A little stutter step. Well played. All right, I'll make this nice and quick. New releases this week. There are two of mention. For the PS4, Xbox One, and PS3, we have Dead or Alive 5 last round. Wow. Also, hmm. for the PS4 and Please Xbox... Please be the last round. <laughs> no, it won't be. I know it won't be. Golly, <laughs> what the heck this, with that game? This really should be last round dot, dot, dot. <laughs> because I'm sure it'll, it'll exactly. come back for more. Uh, Hand of Fate for the PS4 and Xbox One is now out as well. Moving on, we have the top 10 charts for the week of wait, January. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, not that it needs to be said, but we might as well go ahead and say it since we can. The Order 1886 is coming out this well, week. Well, duh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that on was Friday, a all weirdly enough. Yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. You know what? That's what threw me off is because when I go through the, the new releases, I'm always looking at Tuesdays. That's yeah, so you funny. you don't even go that far. Totally. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I thought that no was problem. a given. Clearly, everybody knows the Order 1886 <laughs> is coming out this week. I don't even have to mention it. <laughs> yeah, I see. But, but look, Man. see, we probably should. So, um, yeah, <laughs> Friday, Order 1886. Everybody, go get that piece. And um, I think it will be... I'm praying that it's everything that I have it imagined in my head. <laughs> Man, so it's, it's hard to live up to. Yes, it really is. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So now we can get to the top 10 charts. Yes, Week sorry. of January 31st, brick and mortar stores, U.S. only. Number 10, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Nice. Number nine. Well, that Grand jumped back on the chart, hey? Yeah, it's kind of, it's been flopping back and forth. It's it's definitely in the top 15 and it has been since the release. Um, Number nine, Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox One. Number eight, Assassin's Creed Unity for the Xbox One. Once again, longest I think an Assassin's wow. Creed game has been on here. Yeah. Number seven. Maybe it's not as bad as we all think. 
Uh, it's it's not that great. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure kidding. there's still bundles out there. So. Yeah, that's exactly oh, yeah. it. It is it is a good game. It, it's it's cool. I dig it. Uh, and you liked it better than three. Yes, definitely better than three. Mm. That's so uh, sad because we wanted three to be so good. Oh my god, yes. Oh, we did really I did have, have I, yeah the expectations yeah. of that game that I had. Yeah. Anyway, don't don't depress me right now. <laughs> it's too it's too early for that. Yeah, I'll start um, my day off, man. But dude, no, Black Flag was totally they totally redeemed themselves with Black Flag. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh number seven, Dying Light for the PC. Number oh. six, Call of Duty for the Xbox One. Number five, Call of Duty for the PS4. Number four, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS. There it is. You number need to get that game. Yeah, you probably should. I, they said I should start with a uh, what was it? Red and red and blue. Did they make what? a like do a remake of Red and Blue or like something For that the was 3DS. similar? Yeah, I feel like just a couple years ago, I feel like they did. So, awesome. so I was because I'd asked when I before I had like totally made the decision to get a 3DS or not. I posted on Twitter. I was like, where would I start with Pokemon? And I think this is it. Red and Blue. Yeah, red, I mean, and red and blue were the absolute originals, like way back in the day. Game Boy. Yeah, I think that. Uh, I thought they did a remake. I don't know. They they did some remakes throughout the years. So they must have done one for the DS or 3DS as well. Mm-hmm. I haven't kept up with it. Well played, sir. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're fine. Number three, Grand Theft Auto Five for the PS4. Number two, Dying Light for the Xbox One. Oh, so the number nice. one game for this week, Minecraft. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I had uh, to throw that in. Number one, Dying Light for the PS4. The PS4 wow. beat out the Xbox One by over a hundred thousand units. Oh my gosh, that's an what install base. I think I think the feet. PS4 has a decent install base, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in comparison, I guess. In comparison to the Xbox One. That's... <laughs> Not in comparison to the PS3 and Xbox 360, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. in comparison to the no Xbox kidding. One, it's got a great install. And we're still, we're, and they've got seven, eight years on them, so we're only in the second year, so just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting. I hear it's beautiful looking and it's good, so I don't know. I don't know if that's my t- cup of tea, but that's just me. Yeah. Um. And just uh, since we're talking about numbers, we might as well talk about the new Nintendo 3DS numbers, Hit it. which which sold in its first week 335,000 units Excellent. in its first week. Well played. So I was one of 335,000. And they said that's a way bigger launch than the 3DS launch that happened a couple years ago. Yeah, I mean, if you remember when when the original 3DS launched, uh, the main complaint was just it's too expensive. How much was it? Do you remember when? It, how much? I think it, launched it was like two forty nine. Was it? Yeah. Mm. And this one was two hundred. Yeah. Hmm. Which is interesting, go because the 3DS install base isn't it like forty million people that have a oh, that own a 3DS or something? Yeah, like? I think it's it the, makes yeah, sense. It's it would somewhere be pretty crazy big by like now. that. Yeah. yeah, I mean they've been releasing some pretty good games for it, so. You know, it's interesting, though, there's not one game for it yet. And so I thought that was an interesting number, considering there's not one game that you can play on it that you can't play on the 3DS. Does right. the uh, the other side analog stick feel, I mean, does it feel okay? It's, is it you know, it's like funny. A... Go ahead. In Monster Hunter, it was a great, it, to me, it was a great, like, other, you know, other analog stick, like, it, it's very reminiscent of Game GameCube one. Hmm. Wait, was it the GameCube that had the little knob? No. Um, or Something what, else no, had that was, little knob maybe on it. Maybe it was the GameCube. Yeah, they had the little uh, the little yellow one. But it, it was a little bit bigger. That's obviously. a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but it, it, it worked well, I think, for like a camera. You know what I'm saying? Like how mm-hmm. it zooms around. Uh, I used it on the Monster Hunter demo that I downloaded. Um, and I thought it worked great. It's really small, obviously. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, the little, uh, and so, it, yeah, I thought it w- worked really well. Oh, cool. It reminds me of those think pads, like the red dot in the middle. Is that what I'm in. thinking of? Yeah. M- maybe. That I used know. to be Have on like Toshiba before. Yeah. Like that used to be on the laptops back in the day. Yeah. It, it used to be in the middle of the keyboard. The mouse. 
Yeah, the little red knob. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, not another controller, but the keyboard. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I like it. I'm still trying to crunch numbers here with a, with an install base of 46 million and only selling 300,000. That's a low percentage, I guess, given how many people own a 3DS. But I, but you just made a good point in that there's not a whole lot out for the 3D, the new 3DS yet. There's not yeah. not, not not a yet. lot out. There's nothing out. There's so not there's a, not not a, there's not, not one nothing thing. out. So that, I mean, that's <laughs> for having nothing out and just having it. I think that's pro- I'm I'm assuming that's a success for them and that they're happy with that. I would hope so. So I think it's going to get confusing with new I'm already 3DS confused. software. Like I could just see a lot of people not understanding the difference, or just a lot of people who buy games for their kids not understanding the difference, and seeing you know new 3DS and thinking that their kids' old 3DS will work with it. Oh, that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, all the time. It's going to be with the mm. Wii Wii U all over again. And why oh, do yeah. they why do they keep making these mistakes? Like I think that's the one thing <laughs> that irks me about Nintendo is they keep <sighs> they keep making these mistakes that confuse the heck out of consumers, so they just don't buy it. Until yeah. somebody, until somebody else comes along and says, "Dude, you got to get the Wii U. It's great, but you can't do this, this, and this." But here's some games you can play. Until like your peers actually tell you you need to get a Wii U, no one's going to get a Wii U. You know, it's the same thing now. Well, so, yeah. new uh, 3DS is a lot better than 3DS two. There you go. That that would be weird. That's true. So yeah, oh, why do they keep doing this? Well, it worked for 335,000 people. They exactly, got the and that's good. <laughs> Maybe they should have just called it 40S. Seriously. <laughs> Golly. Hall, give us something else, brother. Uh, so the NPDs came out for January, NPD being the uh, retail sales numbers for consoles uh, across mm-hmm. a month. And they said that the uh, console base has been growing uh, year over year compared to um, the previous, previous generations. generation. Yeah, nice. they said it's, been, it's up like 60% compared wow. to the previous generation. What? Uh, wow. So they said the consoles are selling a lot faster. Something that may be attributed to that would be the price drops and just the better price overall. Uh, last mm-hmm. gen, we saw the prices at the gate. I think the Xbox 360 may have launched at 399 but the PS3 launched at like 599 Right. So mm. there's a definite difference in price this generation and they're they're more willing to cut deals and throw in games and all kinds of stuff so well and think about this too compared to what seven eight years ago there's a lot more gamers this i think i think we're at the we're not at the peak but i think we're at the height one of the heights are getting there of there's a lot more people gaming right now i think so i think it's yeah i wonder if gaming, gaming industry grows every year it, yeah i, I wonder if so. gaming loses people you know what I mean? Either, mm. Like, I wonder if gaming is one of those things that brings people into the fold, but doesn't lose a lot of people. Hmm. I think so. I mean, can you guys imagine not playing anymore? The only reason why I would not play anymore is because I, I wouldn't have the time to do it. Dude, I make time mm. to do it, people. I get up at 5 a.m. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm committed. Uh, love it. I think, you know, I kind of dropped off for a little bit during the PS2 generation because there was kind of a little bit of a lull. Uh, mm-hmm. I can't Man, remember. I, I can't like pinpoint it exactly, but there was a lull. I don't and, think you'll we'll see that lull anytime soon. Yeah, I don't you, think do so either. I don't think we'll see that ever again. Really. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a year or two where there's going to just be not a ton of games going on, but it, it seems like a lot of developers are spacing out everything correctly where, you know, you have a, a, a great year of some good games and then, oh yeah, we got this this game coming out next year and they kind of space it out. Yeah, and launches were a little bit weirder like back before the internet was so pervasive. Like, you know, not everybody knew a launch date and so you would just go to the store and wait for the game to just show up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, oh yeah. So, it things are definitely a lot more hyped now. I mean, look at the order. Like that's that's a very hyped launch. We're going to see a lot of people at their you know, respective retail stores on Friday morning buying the game. I hope so. So it's going to be a big event that did that just that excitement used to just not really. I don't want to say that game, it wasn't exciting for games to come out, but there a lot of times we just didn't know when they were going to come out in much, much more previous generations. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, nice. Did, did they have any breakdowns of of consoles? Video games hardware, one hundred eighty five million. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Video game software, two hundred thirty five million, and right. accessories, two hundred four million. Man, Go get more it. money in accessories sold than consoles. Yep. Yeah, easier to get. And January is a little bit of a slow month. Yeah, uh, the exactly. Top, top 10 games. Uh, I'll just kind of do the top three yeah, yeah, here yeah, of it. January. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 across all platforms was number three. Uh, Advanced Warfare was number two across all platforms. And number one across all platforms, Dying Light. And it came out at the end of the month. Wow. That's so, crazy. Wow. But I guess it doesn't. I guess, you know, we had talked about the first couple of weeks, you know, Grand Theft and them only selling like 40,000 units. You know what I'm saying? So I guess maybe it's not too hard to beat out. Mm-hmm. Well, um, and think about this too. If people got their consoles after Christmas, it was probably bundled with one of those games anyway. So by then they've probably finished it and they've moved on. So, but man, to have Dying Light come out late in January and still beat out everybody is pretty huge. Yeah, it, it, it is. That's sure. a win for Dying Light, in my opinion. Absolutely. There was a, you know, a lot of people were excited about that game and it looks like a fun game. So, no, oh, and I meant to go. tell you because that, um, on those charts, that was, the the de- debut week and Dying Light did two hundred forty six thousand for the PS4 and one hundred forty seven thousand for the Xbox One. Awesome, yeah. So there you have it. Yeah, Sweet. I was going to say too. A lot of people, if they got consoles for Christmas, there's a good chance that they spent those gift cards before the end of December. Oh yeah, exactly. uh, people are totally. out buying games December twenty sixth. They run yeah. right out. Oh yeah. Although because the because PSN was down, I'm sure. That hurt, that had to hurt Sony. Gosh, in, it was weird. In some sales, yeah, it was a weird holiday, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, the NECA, the National Entertainment Collectible Association, which is one of the largest providers of wholesale licensed movie merchandise in the country, is going to be making a Halo motorcycle helmet and releasing it in July. And obviously, we know it's gonna. You're gonna look like Master Chief. That's and it's cool. gonna be street legal. And uh, yeah, this that's kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> as like, so as a motorcycle rider, like, and as a nerd, the inner nerd in me starts going like, "You gotta get this." Yes. And then the rest <laughs> of me is like, "You better not get this." <laughs> <laughs> the the rational side is going, "You better not get this." The better exactly. half is saying, "You better yeah. not get this," and the better half is saying, "You better, you sure as heck better not get this." <laughs> you are going to be a father again. Exactly. That is not going to happen. Exactly. So, if you want to look like Master Chief, you have to wait till July. Oh, that's so and, great! Uh, go get you a motorcycle helmet, and uh, let's go riding. Can I just get it without getting a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, walk, and walk around Franklin with it. Oh my gosh, please, uh, with just your regular clothes on. Challenge accepted. <laughs> this thing can't be cheap, right? No. Oh, that's not going to be cheap. No be a great gift for Gabe. Well, yeah, yes, remember, it, motorcycle helmets just in general aren't cheap. You know, yeah, full face, know. good motorcycle that's helmets. That's why so, I said this can't be cheap. Yeah, no. but it'll be awesome. I'm definitely, hopefully somebody has them around here. I'm definitely going and trying one on. Motorcycle accessory sales up this month. <laughs> or up June. <laughs> exactly. Um speaking of uh money, we love saving money around here and helping others save money. And Microsoft is doing the ultimate game sale right now. Starts today. Um I think I don't know if it's through the end of the month or what, but they've got a grip of games on sale. So you can check them all out, Xbox.com. I mean, a bunch of a bunch of games. It, it spans ag- across Xbox One and Xbox 360. Huh. We've got stuff like Alien Iso- Isolation for twenty four dollars. Wow. If you're, these are if you're with gold, uh, thirty dollars if not with gold. So that's still half off. Um, let's see, Call of Duty only down to forty dollars. Destiny down to forty dollars. Fantasia, which I just bought yesterday. For my daughter, it's down to twenty dollars. Um, the whole Telltale game collection down to fifty five dollars from a hundred and nine dollars. Wow, wow. Uh, they've got a bunch of other stuff, and then obviously not to be outdone, Sony 
also has a huge sale going on as well. Uh, getting games like Child of Light down to six dollars. Wow. The game I call Dragon Rampa 2 down to $23 <laughs> from $40. Destiny, $40. Um, Far Cry 4 down to $35. So, of course, some of these games you can get for less on eBay and things like this, but the joys of having them on your hard drive. Um, so go check these sales out. We'll post them on our deals page and things like that so you can get them, but go save you some money. Paul, give us something else. The Strong, otherwise known as the National Museum of Play, is taking uh, votes for their Video Games Hall of Fame. Ooh. Uh, they're taking votes through their website. I'll be posting the link on the forum with the show notes. Nice. Uh, you get to basically plead your case for why you think this game should be included in the Video Game Hall of Fame. They haven't said how many wow. entr- like how many entrants they're going to have like into the first class of the Hall of Fame. Right. Um, but it's a cool way to kind of plead your case for the game. Uh, they're going to be considering icon status, longevity, and geographic reach. Mm. Huh. Also, uh, I think they're including like the influence too. So if a game has been influential and maybe didn't sell well, they'll still consider getting it into the Hall of Fame. So. Really? Very cool. I nice. can see Shenmue being that game because the sales were just were not Come on Shenmue. Yeah, they're they're not. You know, the sales weren't that great, but nobody can deny it's like hey, nobody have a Dreamcast. That's yeah, why. that, <laughs> and nobody can deny the impact that that game had. So as far as influence, nice. Come, come on, Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that, I just think of. Uh, some yeah, killer exactly. whale somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Some killer whale named Chewbacca. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, anybody playing Candy Crush anymore? Nope. Nope. Me neither. Hall, did you ever play it? Yeah, I played it a little bit, but not now. So it's just funny because none of us play it, but that game still made over $1.3 billion with a B in 2014. Get out of here. That's One crazy. Point three billion dollars. Billion dollars. And I mean, it's obviously reached its peak in popularity. It's got to be going down. Yeah. Um, and it's been on the decline, but like, I would love if my business was on the decline and still making $1.3 billion. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I uh, wonder yeah. why everybody's going to mobile. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Goodness gracious, freemium, the freemium model boy is alive and well. I mean, there are d- publishers that will spend like $50 million, m- maybe even more, you know, $100, $200 million on a AAA game. And they're like, all right, we got to make our money back quickly. <laughs> yeah, and then exactly. we'll make some profit. <laughs> and Candy the guy, Crush. It, the could, guys over at King are like, everybody got some money they want to throw. Okay, we got $20 <laughs> over here. We got $35 over here. Yeah. Okay, what, what, how about this uh, Bejeweled? Yeah, exactly. with candy they're like oh we're yeah, all out man. of toilet paper well here's some ones yeah <laughs> exactly That's so they're killing it over there insane yeah and i can't help but be happy for these guys because no of course there, there's no way to know when lightning is going to strike and it's so fun when it does strike you know what i mean yeah it's pretty crazy like when you get to stand back and watch a company like king release a game like that that doesn't have you know, I, I, I didn't see. Can we all agree that these commercials for whatever that game is with that model is out of hand by if now? I like, have to see yeah. another oh game of war. Gosh, commercial. And we're we're only saying this because we're playing the mess out of trivia crack. Yeah, exactly. Because because that is every commercial. And oh, dear Lord, please. I just want to go. And Can it stop? Blow my Can brains it out. Stop, please. <laughs> and she, I mean, it's all over television. It seems like every other commercial break, no matter what channel I'm on, I'm yep. on yep. is seeing this freaking lady. Dude, and they did um, a Super Bowl commercial. Yes, that's what I'm did. saying. Like th- there that's was no crazy. escaping it. And I didn't see any commercials like that for Candy Crush. Nope. Not, not early on. I saw them later. Yep. But, uh, Early on, man. So, uh, I'm so I'm happy for these guys. Is all I'm saying about that. You got anything else, Halsifer? Yeah. One little thing before we get into questions: you can now take selfies in Doom via mod. Yeah, nice. with a selfie stick. <laughs> Very Isn't that nice. Right? Yes. 
That's like weird to see that in an old game. Yeah, that's weird well, and, and cool all at the same time. Well, and what's funnier too is that I think the point of the selfie stick is that the stick is not in the picture. But yeah. all the pictures I saw of Doom and the selfie stick, you can see the stick in the picture. But maybe yeah. he, he just doesn't have it down quite yet. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. I love that. Doom and a selfie stick. What do they think of next? These crazy kids. I think it's funny um, that they're still modern Doom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what we should be focusing on is why are you still modding Doom? Exactly. Um I love your uh, picture for sending out the question of the week this week, by, by oh, the way. Rowdy, little, that's funny. Little Jim Cantori, man. He was hilarious. Oh, and we might as well talk about it, too, just real quick. The Hitman movie. Yeah. The I trailer's that, out. I posted that trailer on uh, Twitter. What, what were your thoughts? Because you are the Hitman king. Man, I, I think a lot of people said this, and I'm just going to reiterate it. Um, Hitman is about stealth. Yeah. And sneaking around and getting the job done. And this movie went all Hollywood on us like we knew it would. And he's went sliding across cars and jumping out of stuff and pop up in the yeah. middle of the city. You're like, wait, 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 wait. What is this? So, I mean, they'll probably have winks and nods to the game. I hope uh, so. You know, like in the first part of the, I thought the first, the opening of the trailer was pretty dope. That was really cool. Where he's like, you're locked in here with me with, with, with your gun. gun. Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, you're locked in here with me and you brought me mine. Yep. Uh, and uh, he leaves dressed up. You know, that's a big wink to the game because you yes. dress up. As a, but I just felt like it wasn't really true. I'll, of course, I'll still go see it. But it wasn't <laughs> was really true say, to the yeah. game. But I will say this on a good note. It has to be better than the first one. The first one was terrible. Uh, I mean, right. terrible. So anyway, that first I, movie was weird. Wasn't it weird? Yeah. I don't even remember the first just, movie. I mean, not only did it like seemingly have nothing to do with the franchise, it just, it seemed like it was another movie with Hitman attached to it, I guess. Yeah. Like, and, that's, and this I, is kind of what the, this may be this new movie. Right. Uh, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked, how long do you think publishers should continue to release games for last gen? Seth is the goat over at the forum. As long as they can make money, it makes sense for them to do it. And as long as they don't tone down current gen games on the current generation, there are what? 30 million Xbox One, I mean, 30 million Xbox One and PS4s out in the wild now as compared to 160 million 360s and PS3s. Even if you cut the number of last generation consoles in half, it still makes sense to release games for 360 and PS3. I agree. I One agree thing we have to remember about previous gen, though, is that those console sales also include broken consoles at this point. Yeah, I know that's right. And I would red say... Red ring of death, least, yellow light of death. Yeah, considering the red light of death, which was insane uh i think that maybe you can cut out a fourth of those consoles or maybe a third mm -hmm. yeah because mm -hmm. there's a lot of dead consoles out there yeah tig at the forum said hmm good question i say yes i would rather developers put their resources into current gen versions than have to split their team into two divisions so they can make a current and last gen version of the same game especially new ips Ben E. Big, I got to give a big shout out to Ben E. Big. He helped me get the platinum for Far Cry 4, which in turn helped Router get the platinum. Yes, sir. For Far Cry 4. Thanks, Ben. Uh, he said, it doesn't matter what I say about this issue with my keyboard. What matters is what I say about it with my wallet. Keep buying remastered games and they'll keep remaking them, which I thought was an hmm. interesting uh, way of looking at it because it's not it's still last gen, but for current gen which I thought was interesting uh, over on Twitter, Jonathan Chu, my boy that plays violin for that, that, that old band skillet. Uh, he said probably until a generation two unit comes out is how long they should make them. Yeah, probably. Even though he said, even though I'm still playing on a generation one PS three. Oh, wow. Wow. Keep the candle burning. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome that he still has that. Uh, MLS Chop at MLS Chop. Two holiday seasons after new hardware releases. Devs can be hamstrung by old hardware, and the best titles are the ones that let go of the past. I like that. Yeah. Good comments all around. Yeah. Val. Oh, man. Crap. 
Scared, Va- it? Valet, valet. I don't want to say valet because, but valet Graham, V A L E T E at Froggy Jumps for sports games until the end of time. For everything else, three years max. I agree with that one. Mm-hmm. I don't mind if they have sports games coming out forever on the old ones, like, like he's saying. But uh, I mean, I, I all say they have to be doing is, for those sports games, like after the generation has passed, is like updating the roster and changing the menu, right? Probably. That's what you would think. That's what they did for FIFA. Remember they the, the freaking uh, FIFA gate? <laughs> no. I'll call it. <laughs> Remember when they said they just re reskinned some of the players and changed their names and released the same game pretty much? Yep. Thank you guys so much for answering our question. We love that. We love talking back and forth with you guys. And if you're listening to the show and you don't know how to find us, I'm going to tell you. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games, Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Come check out the website. Uh, Give us a call. 703-702. No, 702-703-MTTG. That's what it is. 702-703-MTTG. You can call the other number if you want to. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Somebody might pick up and uh, not have any idea what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hall rate us on iTunes because we have the longest playthrough of any podcast. Like yes, that. I have no idea what that means, but it was a I story I didn't you. mention. No, oh. <laughs> so we're just supposed to read your so mind it's just now. An inside joke for yourself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you guys we're will just, just have to figure it out. Yep. Yeah. It's nice. a hall. It's a hall's riddle. Yeah, hall, uh, hall, yeah, and hallism. Yes, I'm feeling very the Riddler right now. The Riddler, yeah, you yes. are. Sweet. Well, let's get into some questions. All right. Speaking of Ben Ebig. He emailed us and said, would you rather have the ability to speak any language or play any musical instrument? Oh, instrument yeah, by instrument. far. Well, you guys are musicians. I'm all about the language. I- except if I was single, I would say language. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. you, speak, <laughs> you speak that French, man. All those, oh, ladies, oh. Will, all those <laughs> ladies will swoon. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Yeah, je m'appelle the chubby ninja. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get him. Nice. <laughs> that boy. Yeah, You're like I, maybe the chubby ninja means I have a six pack in French. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe it won't matter because all they'll see is Darius Rucker talking to him. <laughs> exactly. Right. exactly. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, man, I'm, a, I'm about language. I think it'd be fun just to be able to communicate um, with other people. Be travel more and all that fun stuff. That's a great mm-hmm. question because Gabe and I can play all the instruments and then Router can be the manager. And I could, yeah, exactly, oh, dude. Whatever it is, married to I the games that. band, he can talk all the business. Married Perfect. to the games band coming to a uh, someplace yeah, a near dive, you, a dive near <laughs> you, <laughs> a coming dive to a bar. VFW near you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's awesome. Anywhere uh, TB is found. That's right. <laughs> ben, thanks for that. Uh, Braylon Jones emails as well. Blast from the past again. Remember the good old days when all your gaming news came from a magazine? Yes. No spoilers and no oversaturation. What game or console did you research the most via magazines? For me, it was Final Fantasy X. Or at, yeah, X when Game Informer had the cover of Titus walking out of the water. I got any magazine that could shed any more info on this game. Mm. Gentlemen, Shoot. I leave that to you. Uh, I gotta say it was in my Dreamcast days is when I did the most, mm. even though the internet was starting to bubble. Um, I want to say that's when I was the most into magazine. Oh no. Uh, Mortal Kombat two, maybe. Hmm. Oh man. I don't know. Whichever one had Katana. I think that might've Mortal been Kombat. Too. I think, uh, I bought like the, you know, everything I could look up on the combos and I bought the book, like the, you know, Mortal Nerd Kombat two. Nerd alert. Yep. <laughs> Proud of it. Love it. Yep. I got my 50 cents on the glass, Jack. I'm next. Mm-hmm. Own that. Scoot over so I can get beat. <laughs> <laughs> so I can put all my knowledge <laughs> to fall by the wayside as I get nervous playing 
playing somebody five years younger than me. That's awesome. I, I remember seeing the commercials for Nintendo Power and like being so excited and wanting to subscribe to it so bad, but mm-hmm. didn't have any money. So um, I was really big into magazines during the PlayStation era because my school got all the magazines. Oh, cool. Mm. So they had them in the library and you could check them out. And basically every time a new one would come out, I would try my hardest to get it. Uh, and honestly, there wasn't much competition. So. Right, exactly. It was great. Nice. Good question. That's a great question. Uh, moving on to Facebook, Sean Capri. How loudly do you guys sing in the car? When I'm driving, I might as well be Dave Grohl. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I love. I like to sing in the car, man. I don't know. I'm just kind of at a normal volume, I would think. But I love got, it, man. It's fun. I've got tickets to Foo Fighters in October. Do you really? I hope I get to use them. We'll probably be out of town, but we got the tickets just in case. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I sing loud in the car, depending nice. on what song it is. Uh, I'm definitely like the guy that thinks nobody's looking, <laughs> but everybody is, but probably everybody's looking like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this guy over here. He is freaking getting it. He's going ham. Yo, yeah. I, I, it depends. Like, you know, if, if live, if living on a prayer were to just come <laughs> on the radio, nice. I'm not going to front. I'm singing that thing at the top of my lungs. I can just see. Like me pulling up next to you and your windows up and you're like, you're jamming, right? And you roll down the window. It's, you're the one that I want. <laughs> and you're like doing something completely not what I think exactly. you're doing. That would be hilarious. I, I definitely am that low hum that you hear in your own car. And you're like, what is that? Oh, is that that guy singing? <laughs> wow. Live it on a prayer. Oh, yeah, buddy. Nice. That. How do you not sing that at the top of your lungs? I mean, yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to. Oh, that's so funny. Halsifer. Riding in the car for me is like one of the only times I'm typically not listening to music. Because oh, usually I'm like mm. listening to music when I'm working or something like that. Usually when I'm driving in the car, I'm kind of like. <clears throat> like all you, hear, all you hear is when he's making yeah, a turn. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm like. <laughs> hey, I'm that was a like, good sound effect. What was yeah. that? A snap and a hit your leg or something? That no, was man, awesome. that, was, that was my tongue, baby. That was really good. You're welcome. <laughs> no usually like when that. i'm driving in the car i'm just kind of thinking over like notes or thinking about like work That's, stuff so you're in silence most of the yeah, time it, it gives me time to kind of think about that nice stuff. you know it's funny i think i am too and that's why i sing so loudly once i start playing some music because i don't listen to music anymore in my car i listen to podcasts and talk radio and so when i turn some music on that's that's the time to let my hair down or off or, <laughs> or however bald, whatever or bald people do with not, hair or non-existent <laughs> yeah exactly as i'm glaring at the guy next to me with a full head of hair it's like darth vader they're like putting your helmet on right <laughs> what does i bid in my master <clears throat> all right let's move on to twitter uh sean great question thanks for that uh at sith nightmare when is the last time you bought a physical comic book oh my gosh the max probably uh i bought the very first one that ever came out. I think that's the last time I bought it. It's been a long time. I do not own a single comic. Well, never have bought one ever? Not that I remember. Halsifer? I don't own any, but I remember checking them out from the library. So, same kind the of library. thing. The library. The library. 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 Raspberry, yeah, it's strawberry. It's kind of crazy how the library came back. <laughs> Just came Has back. it made a comeback? No, I'm saying like it came back in this conversation. Yeah, right. oh. <laughs> uh, we always, man, we always keep it, keep it real. Yeah, the library is yeah. growing year over year, man. 1.3 billion. So, <laughs> keep it going. I'll tell you what, man. We went to the library the other day with Amara. I don't know how to work any of that crap anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm why like, I'm kind of decimal, afraid. What now? I'm afraid to go to the library for that reason. Like, I'm afraid that technology has just passed me by. Uh, no 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 they not i'm talking about the old school just how to work the library like yeah. the old school like card catalog, this is where you find it. catalog baby yeah the dewey decimal system <laughs> yeah yeah i don't you, know uh, nothing about that in the door do you download the card catalog app or how's it work <laughs> right. exactly <laughs> right there i'm sure there's an app for it yeah i'm like so these are physical books i'm gonna take home and then have to come all the way back and bring them back to you <laughs> what's this blockbuster it's called google people exactly just google it amazon anyway. fire all right, moving on. Uh, Jamie Kim Williams at Fun Sized 27. 
What is your favorite Jason Statham movie? Ooh, I like this question. That's, That's nice. A great. We got a good movie question. Uh, for me, uh, it was kind of when I was introduced to Jason Statham, which would be Guy Ritchie's Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, which ah. is still one of my favorite movies. I nice. love that movie. And uh, yeah, he was awesome in that. And uh, that was before his turning into an action star days. And he was just a very low key gangster. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, shoot. I mean, figuring that he does mostly bad movies. Um, <laughs> right. I think that uh, even though I love him, like every time he's on, I go see, I'm, I, I want to say I want I go see everything he's in. Um, shoot. And maybe first, Snatch? Was he in Snatch? Oh my God, Snatch was great. Yes. Uh, and and I, 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 this is stupid, but I loved the first Transporter. Yeah, I did too, man. I thought it I was feel good. like that's what made him like the driving guy. Yes. You know, and that's why he was in, what was he, Handsome Rob and Italian Job? Oh, that's right. He was Handsome Rob. Uh, and I think he was one. only Handsome Rob because of the Transporter. So I, I got to say the Transporter probably. Nice. Pulsifer. I'm thinking either Ita- the Italian job or the crank movies. You liked crank? You liked the crank yes. movies? Oh my God. They're so hilarious. bad. They're good. All right. Man, that's one of the only, mo- I mean, I don't ever not finish movies. And oh, I, I don't touch I turned those off movies. The first, crank I turned too. off the first. I, I like crank too. A lot, I don't so. touch those movies. Uh, Yowzers. Well, there you go. I'm glad uh, you liked them though. They were awesome. made for someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just like it, the expendables oh yeah I think he's, a, he's in expendables as well yes he oh, is I didn't realize that yeah I haven't, seen, right. I haven't seen the movie and that now i want to now, exactly. now you have to now it's required of the he's okay. gonna be in the new fast and furious sorry oh man i saw that i saw that it's trailer sad. that's it's, sad dude that's that, sad stuff. It, it it totally broke my heart to see him on there i was like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, anyway, I haven't uh, seen any since like Fast and the Furious, and was the second one seriously called Too Fast, Too Furious? <laughs> too Fast, da, 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 Too Furious. Yeah, because I think it really I saw was. that one too. They freaking got away with that one. That they got that away was with murder on that. Hilarious. One. That yeah. Anyway, yep. <laughs> okay. At Arctic Warlocks, afraid to update my PS4. Do you guys hold off on updates to ensure the coast is clear, or just download as soon as it posts? Um. Man, it's good to just download it because how are they going to know if there are any bugs if you don't do it? And, <laughs> if you're not the one. <laughs> and Yeah, if you're not the one. And, you know, usually they're pretty quick with if there are bugs like there were in this past, the past one, they pretty much patch them up fairly quickly. But I'd say go ahead and do it because it'll it'll help. You know, I've never been a, I've never been jacked up by an update. So it's hard for me to uh, say not to do that i do it i just let the system do it but you you didn't get the rest mode bug that that most people got for the ps4 that was the one bug that i've ever gotten that's the one bug i've ever gotten too but that that one didn't bug me as much number one i think it only happened once to me but at the same time like we've heard like this updates crash people's ps4s right right, and so i've never had the crash happen no i haven't either thank god so uh i always just go ahead and update I always do it. Paul. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. Just I always update and I've only been affected by one bug and it really didn't bother me that much. So Exactly. Nice. Yep, yep. yep. At D Spin sixty seven, are you tired of the hype some games are receiving only to be let down once you play them? Uh, uh, yeah. I, I would say so. I mean, I try to avoid as much hype as possible. Like I said with the order, I'm keeping my blinders on. I don't want to get involved in like i'm sure i will see commercials for it and have um but you know i i really want to be as objective as i can with this because i'm just because i'm so excited for this game so it sucks because i'm really going up against my own expectations of this game but Mm -hmm. um yeah i mean i we see it so many times now is that there's so much hype about a game and then it just falls short uh hype to me equals good marketing and yes. so I I don't hate on good marketing because I feel like marketing makes the world go around. Yes. Um. And so I don't really I'm not really mad at hype, only because uh. Usually, you can smell a rat. You know what I'm saying? They could hype whatever they wanted to off of a Megan Fox movie. Of course. And I'm not seeing that. 
<laughs> and so like the same thing with Evolve, like we all knew this game was going to be thin. Like, even though I'm, I'm frustrated that I'm taking it back, like, but we all knew, like we said it time. I feel like we said it over and over again. And me and the guys that played the demo said it over and over again, like, man, this seems really thin. It doesn't seem like there's lasting appeal here. And so, I mean, you can usually see through the hype. Yeah. I'm so like I'm not, it. I'm not, I'm not mad at the hype because uh, it's just good marketing. I feel like Sonic Adventure was hyped up a heck of a lot. Mm -hmm. And then when I actually like got through the first stage of the game, which the first stage in Sonic Adventure is pretty awesome. But after that, the game kind (laughs) of drops. Then they quit. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, there you go. So do you hate that? Eh. It's, it's kind of, it it didn't hold me for sure. I mean, like I Mm -hmm. played the first couple hours of it and I was like, "Mm, this is kind of boring. It doesn't. Right. It didn't live up to the console launch hype that that game kind of brought with it. So right, right. I think also. I think we're all used to the hype because that's kind of how. Yeah, movies do it. Music movies, does it. Yeah, it's just everybody the way does it. I mean, it's, it's marketing one hundred and one, and you know, I market as well as a website designer. I have to make things look good, so we, you know, you have to hype it up and and take the best part of it and and make it as glorious as it can be. Right. So I think everybody's used to it. So it's it's kind of an industry standard. It's just now it gets down to well, are are you going to play that game? Is it your style mm-hmm. uh, versus the actual hype machine? Yep. Yeah. So, interesting. At uh, hey, I'm Haley sixteen. Haley Nicole Miller has Gabe started watching Arrow yet? No. Seriously, I, hey, I'm not watching Paul, that. Paul, I got a second opinion from another buddy of mine who is older than me than me and is a cardiologist and he loves it. And he says, you need to watch it. So I will, I will start watching it on Netflix. Oh my God. You gotta, you gotta get over some of the, the, and even the producers have said like, if you you get over the acting and the story, it's great. (laughs) The acting is actually not, not that bad. Like it's pretty, it's pretty competent and it's not what you would expect from a CW show. Exactly. And he also said the Diggle's kind of ridiculous throughout the whole thing. So, Forgive him, but (laughs) yeah. Um, He also said that the Flash is very good as well. Oh my gosh! So I don't know, man. I'll I'll give it a shot. I got. I ain't got nothing to lose. (laughs) You sure don't. Uh, Diggle's acting will just kill you though, because he's got the um. And and, I mean, I hate it because the the guy is probably a pretty competent actor, but they give him the worst lines. I hate that, man. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Diggle, diggle, diggle. Diggle, diggle, diggle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that just popped in my head. Just anyway. a little bizzle. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Brian Armstrong at Silent Fury 007. Oh, hello, James. Uh, I know you guys mostly work for yourselves, but have you ever had to deal with a bad boss? I need MTD, MTTG advice. Um, mm. Bad boss, bad clients. Yeah, man, we've all, we've all been through it. Um, I, I think my advice would be, what is it that is is the problem with the boss being bad? Is it that they're just jerks? Is it, you know, what is it? And you know, if, if they're cool about it, you you just need to talk about it. You, you have to speak up, I think in, in these kind of situations and just be like, Hey, you know, what's going on with this? Why am I? No, no. Well, if they're a bad boss, usually they're, you can't talk to them. Well, that's the thing. But if they're willing to talk to you, then you need to hash it out. There's no use in staying in a work situation that you wouldn't like. You know, like, you, oh, if, yeah, no, if you I don't agree. Talk, if you don't talk to them about it, you're just going to hate your job every day. So <laughs> if you talk to them <laughs> about so it and true. get fired, then you're not meant to be there. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been lucky to have never had like all of my bosses have just been great. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've been it, lucky. Me too. Man, it's hard because. uh, Shoot. Have I had a bad boss? I've had bad jobs. Um. Uh, listen. I'm just. I'm it's trying a to means think, to an end, brother. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to think of an instance like what. What makes uh, the boss that bad? Is it how he treats people? Is it his decisions? Like, it, well, you, we've all heard of people like not not listening to your plight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've all heard of people whose bosses like li- literally don't care about them. Right. Hey, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, at the same time, you could also shine because of that. Because That's you true. have a 
like there's always i uh, maybe i just kind of see the potential in everything like yeah, hey if, if this if this guy's a, a jack a then um you know you have to figure out okay well how can i make this a how can i turn this around and make it better and beneficial for me so that i could move up if i needed to and this guy this clown could get out of here who knows yeah true. a lot depends on the situation i think if he's just a bad boss just to be a bad boss and i'm saying he and it could be a her too i'm the yeah, one yeah. who's sexist here yeah. but um you know i it just depends on the situation but you just got to stop and think about it. it's like hey do i want to stay in this position with this bad with this person that i yeah. don't like or do i can i move on from it well also too it depends on the company but the your boss would probably get in trouble if people continue to leave the job underneath right. them. Yeah. So right. if they're right. a horrible boss and they have a lot of people quitting all the time, then eventually somebody from up even further is going to oh, come yeah. down and say, what's going on here? And the right. thing is, is that some of those people that are up above him won't know unless somebody speaks up because they're not going to be down there looking at everybody like all the time they're going to look at performance ratings and if there's if they have a high turnaround of people who are leaving and they're going to look at that but if people don't speak up and and tell them why that's the thing like, information for me is always key if you don't know what's going on you're not going to be able to fix anything if it's a work hostile situation go to hr so speak yeah. up yep definitely listen there's an old proverb that says the player is going to play, 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 play. 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 <laughs> the hater is going to hate, 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 hate. That's hate. right. But baby, I just going to shake, shake, shake it off. Diggle, diggle, diggle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Sorry to hear about your boss, man. Yeah, man. That's that sucks. Ask him if he plays video games and then yeah. find yeah. a common interest. That's there what I had to go. do with a, a, a coworker that like me and him just weren't seeing eye to eye about anything. So I just like dug around, found a common interest and only talked to him about that. Good. That's good. It keeps it, it keeps it less awkward. I like that. Exactly. It was motorcycles, by the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, and now it'll be Master Chief Motorcycle yeah, Exactly. You see that new helmet? Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> 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 uh, man, we got some good questions, good, insightful stuff, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Josh Oaks at JP Oaks one If you could be reborn as a historical figure, who would you pick? Someone wow. who didn't get shot. Um, golly. That's would, a hard question. That is a hard that's question. Really hard. I don't want to be Abraham Lincoln. That's for sure. Doctor Emmett Brown. I'm just kidding. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Um, Yowzers. That's a really good Shoot, question. That is. You know, I'll say George Washington. I would just love to see how like chopping America, down trees. Uh, what? You like yeah, chopping down trees? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, I would just love to see how really like the insight of how America was founded and, and like how our forefathers really took everything in and, and how they broke off from such a massive powerhouse like in England to have this, this, yeah, whole, this colony. Nice I think thing. that'd be so cool. I think Ra Router, you and I are in the same mind because I was thinking Ben Franklin. Nice. I would say uh, maybe um, Da Vinci. Ooh, That's a good one. Ooh, Only like because, that. like, if, if he, like, he, I would love to just know how his mind worked. Like, was he tormented or was he right. just, like, brilliant? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or hmm. who, who is the guy here? Uh, uh, Edison? Thomas Edison. Yeah, Thomas Edison. Did he, yeah. Didn't he invent, like, a grip of stuff, like, way more than we probably know? He yes. did. Yeah. I, just somebody like that whose mindset is so, like, unlocked that. Yeah, they just think like they just think dream up these amazing things. Probably Da Vinci because he was so ahead of his time. Yeah, I mean, he was. like, mm -hmm. what did he dry out the, like the helicopter like hundreds of years before it came to fruition? Anyway, not hundreds of years, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we got you, bro. Yeah, an That's idea. A, that was a great question. Some um, people are just gifted. I mean, you look at Beethoven; he was just born with the ability to write music, pretty much. And yeah, he, and he was deaf. Yeah, for part so, of his life. Yeah, Beethoven, so that, Eminem. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, let's go to our boy, Ed Placencia, shall we? Favorite, yeah. favorite stand-up comedian. Oh, I, I knew he would throw something like this in mm. here. That's awesome. Uh, I am loving me. I've always been a huge fan of Jim Gaffigan. I think he's, uh, yeah, his he's pretty funny. 
His deliveries are just Good great. Lee. I cannot and stand Jim Gaffigan. I knew you wouldn't be able to stand him. <laughs> oh, Lee, I don't know why. I just cannot stand him. Oh. But I've also, uh, I listen to a lot of uh, Daniel Tosh, too. I think he's pretty funny. He's funny. Oh, my gosh. He's dirty, but he's funny. And you're his heyday, uh, y- in his heyday, who am I going to say? You're going to say, uh, in his heyday was probably Bill Cosby. Yeah, or- I mean, love some Bill Cosby, of course. Bill Cosby uh, was great because he didn't have to get vulgar to be funny. Right. Really so didn't. many comics nowadays just immediately go to something oh, vulgar. Yeah. yeah it it's... was all just lifestyle stuff, too. Just life. Right. Uh, no, but in his heyday, I'm going with um, David Chappelle. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I thought right. he That's was a good answer. He was really, good. His Killing Him Softly uh, yes. special is one of the fun, and it's dirty now. Yes. But it's one of the funniest stand ups I feel like I've ever heard, ever. Paul, have you guys ever seen Ralphie May? Yes, he's pretty funny. Yes, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't consider him he's, my favorite. But so like, I don't, I don't think won, I have a favorite. He won the first last, com- last comic standing, right? He's he's a big white dude. Yeah, and, he's out of Chattanooga. Uh, yeah. Is he out of Chattanooga? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty um, good. I don't know who that is. I've never seen that guy before. He, I think most of his stuff is on Netflix. That's kind of how I discovered him because my brother in law was like, "Hey, have you ever seen this stand up?" And I was like, no, I've nice. never heard of him. And we were just dying laughing watching him. So, um, uh, my Chappelle wife is, a is huge, great too. So, yeah, my wife yeah. is a huge Kevin Hart fan. She loves <coughs> yeah, Kevin his Hart. stuff is good too. We listen to that. He's coming to town. Is he really? Yep. Uh, where's uh, he at? T Pack? Uh, Bridgestone, I think. He's, he's at playing. Bridgestone. Oh, wow. So. All, All right. right. We got we to gotta call this thing so All Hall right. can get to his new job. All right. I got one more. And this is a very interesting question because it's not from anybody in the States, but it's from uh, Attila uh, at Not Side Strafe. What is Black History Month? We don't have that in Sweden. <laughs> oh, wow. We don't have that in Sweden. And you all seem to be very hyped about it. So yeah. that's re- I thought that was a really cool question yeah. because we're, we take it so for granted and we're so used to it. Yeah. And uh, and Sweden, man, that's awesome. We got we got some Swedes in the hizzy. So that's very cool. Nice. Lay it on him, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe to you. <laughs> Um, uh, it's such a long answer. It's such a long answer, but I'll go with the short, easy answer. It is what it sounds like. It's the celebration of, uh, African-American history here in America and, uh, just acknowledging, um, that things happened in the important role that African-Americans played in the building of this nation. Oh man. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Well played, Professor. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Uh, we so appreciate it. We love talking back and forth with you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Um, uh, we want to leave you guys with a question. Because you guys hear what I'm going through with Evolve, when was the last time you were disappointed with a game so much that you took it back? Let us know. Use hashtag answer MTTG. Obviously, I'm taking Evolve back to uh my own chagrin hall was there a time you've been so disappointed that you took a game back man that's a tough one i i think after playing like i didn't play the oblivion game until after i played skyrim oh wow! so i I, the uh oblivion being the fourth one in the series skyrim being the fifth so after playing skyrim it was really hard to play oblivion because they improved a lot of the inventory management for the console stuff Right. So I played Oblivion for like maybe two or three hours and then just sold it back. Mm-hmm. Nice. nice. I haven't, I haven't um, taken back a game. I usually just keep them. I should have taken back three Assassin's Creed three as everybody knows, <laughs> but you know, I just, I, I'll just still keep them just because I don't know. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. Well, let us know you guys when the last time you were so disappointed with a game that you Took it back or maybe even threatened the game to take it back. Like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so taking you back to the no, store. No, <laughs> You but shut I up and you. sit there. You shut up and sit there. But we had so much time together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. All right, you guys. Well, um, shoot, that's it. I'm your boy, Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Timothy Hall. I got a new job and got to go. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> What's your middle name, Hall? James. That's Timothy James. I got a new job and I got to get there. Hall. There you go. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and we 
don't like the games, aren't dating the games, ha- aren't courting the games, but are married to the games. And we are up out this thing. Peace. <laughs>